Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. First, we're going to mention the Discord server slash tankyard. If you're interested in receiving a shout out at the start of the video and requesting a build to be built, look no further than the tankyard. There are multiple ways of joining. One is leave your gamer tag down below in the comment section of this video. Or two, join the Discord server and put your gamer tag there. And which gamer tags am I looking for? Well, I am looking for your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo gamer tag. And you'll be entered into the tank yard here to receive a shout out at the start of the video. And speaking of shout outs, today we got a new sh new person to shout out to. And today we are giving a shout out to Ebojan9999. And uh, Jesus Christ, we're just going to do Jesus Christ. I'm not saying the, what is it, Jesus Hent Christ or something like that. So yeah, Ebola Chan. Welcome to the tech yard. Oh my lordy lordy, you guys. You guys are... Ah. Anyway, so let's get into today's tutorial. And today we are building this. The M1A2 Abrams. Or as the Russian badger likes to call it, my free Abrams. <laughs> so yeah, we're building a free Abrams or Abrams today. So let's get to... And today we are going to America. United States of the Americas. America. America. So let's get on down the line here and get to it. Alrighty, here we are at the M1A2 Abrams. So let's get into the building materials that you're going to need today. And today you're going to need eating uh, polished blackstone brick stairs, polished blackstone brick slabs, cut sandstone, smooth sandstone slabs, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, cobble uh, sandstone wall, polished blackstone wall. And polished deep slate and later polished deep slate stairs and tinted glass. This is probably going to be the most modern vehicle in the tutorial world now. for now. And let's get to it. So I'm going to start right here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven blocks in a row. And we're going to add another space on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And then skip three spaces. I have a three space gap and then do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again on the outside, you're going to add another layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now we're going to switch over to the polished blackstone slabs. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and there we go. Going to do the same on the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. On the front, we're going to do upside down brick slabs. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There we are. So back here, we're going to put placeholder, placeholder, and then do two, four more slabs. 1, 2, three four there we go and now we're going to take our cut sandstones again and on the back of the vehicle here we're going to do one two three four on the front of the vehicle we're going to put them directly on the stairs one two three four and then we're going to add the return rollers we're going to do one two three four five six one two three four five six back to the sandstone to, to the brick stairs we're going to do one two three four upright in the front and in the back upright again so one two three four right on the brick slabs now we can finish off the tracks with the brick slabs with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and again on the other side we're going to do one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And there you go, your track section and suspension is complete. So we can get rid of these materials and grab the rest of our building materials, which will be the deep slate stairs and tinted glass. So once you got to this point, uh, remember folks you can always pause, rewatch, rewind. And do whatever you need to do to get this awesome vehicle in your world. Um, I recommend taking your time and just uh, pausing when you need to so you can catch up. So let's get into the rest of the vehicle. So 
So starting at the front, we're going to do upside down stone uh, sandstone stairs. So one, two, three, like so. And then stone slab, I meant sandstone slabs. One, two, three, and bring it all the way back. The reason why I keep calling stone slabs is because that's the most common material I'm used to working with. Open. It's very rare I build anything in tan, but I guess the more modern vehicles I do, the more tan it's going to get. And we're going to take this right to here and then do one, two, out, like so. And then we're going to take our smooth sandstone and do a perimeter all the way around the vehicle. So just do a giant e circle. Like that. And on the back here, we're going to take our deep slate and do one, two, three. There we go. And on top of that, we're going to do one, two, three. And then directly behind that, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have sandstone walls coming out at each end. There we go. Next, we're going to add three more to each side. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And on the insides here, we're going to do one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four of the deep slate. Then we're going to move these two here, making hatches for the engine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then to complete the engine deck, we're going to do two deep plate stairs there and two deep plate stairs here. And then one, two, three of the sandstone stairs. And that will complete the engine deck. We're going to uh, cut off the engine deck about right there and put slabs running all the way down right in front of the stairs. All right, now we're going to put in the turret ring. So we're going to do one, two, three. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Just like so. Right here, we're going to do one, two. And right here, we're going to put tinted glass. There we go. And we're just going to surround this with slabs. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 and about 30. There we go. And we're just going to add one more to each track side. Bring it out looking like this. That essentially is the hole complete. And now we can put on the turret. The turret's going to get a little funky. So we're going to start right here with the stitch block. Put one right there. And we're going to put a stair on each side. And then we can do slabs right here. It's full block stairs right there. And bring it out one on each side. And we're going to put a slab on each side of the block right there. I know this side is supposed to be... I know one side is actually more slightly longer than the other because of how the shallow grade is, but it's hard to do in Minecraft, so they're both going to be equal sides. And then we're going to do stair here. Stair here. There we go. And then we're going to do full blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With a stair, slab here, slab here. Like that. I'm just going to take a quick look and see what I did here. Okay. So we're going to take this in like so. There we go. And put a slab here and slab here. We have five blocks in the center with a slab on each side. Next, we're going to do stairs upside down. One, two, three, four, five. And continue with the slabs. And there should be one more row of slabs connecting each side. Like so. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now let's give it that 120 millimeter smooth bore. So we're going to do one, two, three. And then two full blocks. And then one, two, three. And then polished blackstone wall at the end. There we go. Alright, coming up to the back of the vehicle here. We're going to start at the upper part of the turret here. Through the back part, we're going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. With two stairs on each side. 
and then a slight stare and a stare like that all right then we're gonna do this three slabs on each side I believe one two three and one two three there we go and now we're going to do full block here with a stair and then full block and stair and full block and stair stair and full block I believe yes and then we're going to put actually this stair needs to go this way and then here we're going to do one two three slabs on top of that and then here this is going to come out like so and then we're going to put another stair right here with a slab right there and right here we're going to put another stair yes that gives us the look we need and right here we're going to put a full block and then i believe on the rest here we can just do um kind of just slabs like so except for right here we're going to put that slab down there and we're going to put one right there. Or not. We're going to do that. And we're going to cut out this section here. And a lot of angled shapes here. It's kind of hard to work with. So I'm just going to pause right here for a moment. So you can get a look. So we have a curved two stairs here. Full block here. Stair. Full block. Slabs. Just like so. Alrighty. And that should do it. Uh, no, no, it will not. We're going to remove this and put a full block. There we go. Now we should be good. Alrighty, so we can get rid of these materials, except we're going to keep one of the road wheels. Just one. So that completes the base body. Now we're going to move on to cosmetics. For cosmetics, we're going to need birch sign, birch button. Iron Trapdoor, Light Grey Carpet, Androd, Wither Skeletal Skull, which uh, if you have another farm in survival, uh, this should, should be kind of common. Um, brown Carpet, and Birch Pressure Plate. Alright, so we're going to do these as the smoke dispensers right here and here. I'm going to put one end rod right here. Where we're going to keep a hold of it. We're going to take our light gray carpet, put one, two, right there. Iron trap third, we're going to put three on top here, one, two, three, and three down here, one, two, three. And that's that. All right. Birch signs, two on the barrel here. You can put any inscription you want on these. All right, now we're going to put two in front here. And then two on either side of the hole right here. And then we're going to jump back three blocks. And on the fourth block, put another sign. And then one right on the stairs. And then another two blocks. And on the third block, place another one. And then also right on the stairs here. And that should do it. No, no, it does not. So, uh, let's see. We'll get a few more materials. But first, we're going to put this brown carpet right here. And that will do that. All right, and the pressure plates. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. All right, so... We're actually going to take a couple more slabs and put one two right there forgot about this little detail we're gonna put a full block right here and then we're gonna take a deep slate stair and put it right there little detail I forgot to add all right so now we're gonna go back over here and grab our birch trap doors green carpet stone slab and oak trap doors. Let's get these out of the way. Alright, so we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, 
three, four, five. Remember to crouch to place those ones. We're gonna take this as a placeholder, and we're gonna place it on each of these outer blocks here. So that way we can do this. We're gonna put like that, and like that, and then we're gonna remove all the placeholder blocks. And right here, place and place. This is our bustle. There we go. And we can put another one right there. And another one right there. And then down on the turret, we're going to put one, two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. So that removes that. We could take this and remove one and place it right here as kind of like a spare road wheel hanging off. Alright, so now we can grab a few more materials, which will be anvil and dark oak fence skate. That way we can put our MGs up. So first we have our 50 cal right here, and then right here would be a smaller, probably an M240. So those anvils are in place. Then we're going to put like one right here and let's see, actually this needs to be, one. oh yeah. Okay, so we're going to take oak trapdoor there, take this handle, place it right there, there we go. I'm also going to put another oak trapdoor right here. And I mean these are birch, 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 birch. And here we go. Alright, so now dark oak fence gate here. And right there. And end rod here and here. And then we're going to add our ammo, which will be on the right hand side, or left hand side. There we go. Put green on there and then gray on each one. And there we go. Okie dokie, and that should do our MGs. We can get rid of this, 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 this this. And I believe the birch trap doors are done, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's grab some more materials, which will be flower pot, dried kelp block, beehive, birch fence, iron bars, and there's one I forgot, which will be oak signs. Okay, so oak signs right here, and here, and up. And same over here, here, and here. And one down here. So we can get rid of that and grab our birch sign again. And on this, not there, not there. Right down here, we're going to put, surround this. There we go. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to take our birch fence and put one, two right there. I'm going to take a birch trap door and put it right there. Also here and here. And then down here on the side. There we go. And then starting from this block right here, we're going to take this all the way down until about right there. And put these down. Add our little side skirts. There we go. Also on the front right here, but we're going to do it like this so those join up nice and neat. And on the front. There we go. Now we can take our birch sign again and place it right there. And right there. So those should be done. Now for your bustle, you can put any amount of materials if you want back here. I'm just going to do a general design like this. And I just throw some stuff in the back. Alright. For iron bars, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Flower pot's going to go. Well, it was going to go right there. That's right there. Okay. 
So actually you don't need the light gray carpet on there. It's supposed to be a small machine gun anyway. Alright. I forgot to put one birch trap door right on top right here. There we go. Now all we have left are the buttons. So we're going to put the birch buttons on the road wheels down here. And your sprocket. Also on the ends of the engine deck and on your spare one. There we go. Also on top here, we're going to do one, two, three, four. And there we go. That should do it. I believe. Let me just do a quick flyover, make sure we got everything. And yes, I believe that is it. We have successfully completed the M1A2 Abrams American Modern Main Battle Tank. Or at least as modern as it can be. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button or wherever they're going to move it to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love an addition by Wunderbar Wunderbar subscribers. Thank you guys so much, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description for you to come chat, join, hang out, post your videos, post your memes, post your videos. I like to see other people's videos if they ever post them. So remember, get this free brums in your world today. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!